there is jealousy and tension amongst the staff on what's supposed to be the most romantic day of the year on Raw, Sunday night at half nine. Now, though, it's Shortland Street. Who or what is Pujari? He not only decides the date, but he performs the ceremony. If we say no to the date, why should he agree to marry us at all? I'm afraid I cannot give the date, for there will be no wedding. What? It is with a heavy heart, I say. You cannot and must not get married. Thank you. Another double assault, just like Groundhog Day in here. And the guy's a possible spinal injury and head trauma. The girl reports being bashed and kicked. She's got a nasty fracture to her right arm. You take her, okay? Oh. Hi, I'm kept in from the doctor here. Oh. Can you feel my touch? Oh, wow. You just... Okay, can you, uh, can you move your fingers for me, please? Okay, great. Where's Dale? He's right next door. Uh. Dale, you all right, baby? He's being looked after, don't worry. Uh, how could this happen to us? Why did they do this? Where were you? We were walking back from our wedding rehearsal. And this car pulled up. And these guys jumped up. When's the wedding? Next week. We were so looking forward to it. No. Please, take if he's okay. Sure. Could you let X ray know that we need a trauma view? I'll see you. Hey, got you some milk. And this. But with tainted money, no doubt? At least look at it. Libby, I'm serious about marrying you. I've had my eye on this for weeks. Well, it'll only take minutes to return. Oh, don't be like that. Not just because we argue, it doesn't mean it's the end of the relationship, does it? Will it be the end of the relationship when you're beaten to death by the white tails? How many times? It's not going to happen. But it nearly did already. Just tell me that you're through with the dance parties and the gangs will be out of our lives and we can move on. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Well then, I'll just sit here by myself and think about what I'm going to say at your funeral. Who was he? Let you know when you get some x-rays. How's the girl? Yeah, all right, arm's pretty messed up. She made an ortho consult. Susie. Susanna, where is she? I'm all right, baby. It's okay, mate. She's fine. She's right next to you, okay? You see? Susanna. Oh, oh sweetheart. Oh, you might have something for me. Oh, yeah, the girl's got a compound fracture to her right arm. We're just waiting on x-rays. Another uh, double assault? Yeah, it's bad, if not worse. How's the blood? Bastion uh, concussed. He's only just come to it. Hey there, I'm Dr. Chris Warner. I just need to take a look at your head, right? I've got them too, though. What about it, these two? One of them thrashed his face with my keys. I gave him another scar. He has a scar. On his neck. An innocent couple hospitalised. The white tails strike again. This is very unfortunate. Isn't there something we can do? How can we change your stars? If Pujari decrees a marriage cannot take place, who are we to oppose them? The couple getting married? This is serious. If the stars were on your side, it would have swept away family doubt. This only doubles it. Now listen. I agreed to consult Pujari to enable us to get married. I did not agree to some joker with a degree in mumbo-jumbo putting a stop to it. No matter what you think of this, no one in India gets married without astrological blessings. My entire family would view it very badly. Your family aren't the ones getting hitched. We are. Let's just announce the original date, and when the dust settles, we'll celebrate with anyone who turns up. We will do no such thing. So what are you saying, Shobna? You want to cancel the wedding? I don't want to. Not at all. I have grown very fond of you, James. But if Pujari says your marriage is doomed... Okay. Do either of you have any books on Vedic astrology? Not on me, no. There'll be some at the library, why? Well, you say it's a very technical field, yes? Absolutely. It takes many years of study. So does the law, but the law has loopholes. 
Scotty. I love you. I want to marry you. We're going to the library now. Excuse us, please. What's that? Well, they've done studies of trauma centres internationally, and guess what? Emergency departments most affected by gang violence are the ones pioneering radical new procedures, especially in reconstructive surgery. It's amazing what they do. Yeah, like when you do a study to tell us the practice makes perfect. Well, possibly not. Well, it's the choice between a conference or having the white tails bash people for us to practice on. I'm choosing the conference. Yeah, but the way things are going in Ferndale, we might not have much of a choice. I need the transfer paperwork for Dale Cole. How's he doing? Settling down on the wards? Not really. He's worried about his girlfriend. I'll meet to be getting married next week. Hmm. Not likely now. He said they've been paying it for over a year. I don't know, funny they told the Whitetails I'd have left them well alone, gone off and pulverised someone else. Has there been another beating? <laughs> you don't want to know. Tell me. <clears throat> you see this? Posterior chipping. They use steel cap boots on it. How are we going to fix this? Once we've sussed the full extent of the damage, we'll reconstruct with rods and pins and then stabilise with external fixators. Oh, this one is nasty. PP's dropping. Yeah, there's a lot of blood in here. Hang on. Could you apply direct pressure there. Suction. BB's still dropping. Must be another bleeder. I can see it. Scalp. Here it is. Into osseous. Must have been nicked by a bone fragment. Thank you, Tony. Someone better rustle up another unit or three. She's going to need it. If we find differences between the Samhita and Hora branches of astrology, it might be a loophole big enough to drive a wedding car through. Could Jerry perform the test relating to both? Maybe he got it wrong. Your mother said he worked unusually fast. He's extremely learned. If you knew the study it took to become proficient in interpreting the signs, you would not question his ability. The thing is, it is only interpretation. We can't be the first couple this has happened to. People must find a way around it somehow. Well, if we ask him, Pujari might suggest ways of counteracting the negative elements, so he has cause to do a second reading. Ways like... Wearing the right combination of gemstones or performing some rituals. So you're saying a second reading would give a different answer? It might, but he'd need a reason to do one. And of course, we'd have to pay him again. His time is very valuable. I understand. Leave it to me. Where are you going? To find a way. Well, I'm naked. I heard you were operating on that girl, the one who got beaten up. Her and her boyfriend. Yeah. How'd it go? We saved her arm, which is pretty brilliant, considering how enthusiastically those morons use their steel cap boots on her. For fun. She and her boyfriend were due to get married next week, but now... Do you think there's any chance you'll be able to make it down the aisle? Oh, I doubt it. I mean, I did a good job, but she'll need further surgery, rehab, and she'll be in continuous pain for who knows how long. Oh, poor girl. Well, because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, where are you safe when there's all these guys roaming around just looking for people to bash so they can get into a gang? These white tails, if you don't do what they say, they'll do much worse. Yeah, best to avoid. Yes, well, he won't, will he? I just know that they're going to kill him. Who? Karen. What's Karen got to do with the couples who were assaulted? The White Tails, they beat him up too. Because? He's been running these illegal dance parties on their turf. Which he has now presumably stopped. So he's prepared to risk his life for a few dollars? It's a lot of dollars and he seems to love the whole buzz, the, the whole thing. <sighs> Legality aside, nothing is worth what happened to that girl I patched up. And I'm not just talking about him. He is endangering everyone around him. Yeah, tell me about it. Have you been threatened? How? I had to sneak out the takings the other night, right past those horrible men, and they said I'd be sorry if I was messing them around. I was terrified. Tell Karen to stop now. He won't listen to me. Make him listen. 
or get right away from him. I mean it. If he doesn't care enough to put your safety first, then he is not worth your time. Are you hearing me, Libby? I want to know what happens, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Please. The thing is, I went to the library today to read about Vedic astrology so I could understand my situation better. Be warned, my friend. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. <laughs> I learned very quickly that I could not begin to understand what you do. Your vice. Well, different tests, different approaches of weighing them up. It's extremely complex. This is so. And it all takes time. Sometimes a great deal. And the more time you have, the more double-checking you can do for absolute accuracy. And Mrs. Kumari only gave you a few short hours. Are you disputing the accuracy of my findings? Well, how could I? I know nothing except that my last hope of marrying Shanti lies in the remote possibility that given more time, certain positives might have revealed themselves. Which is why I'd like you to continue with your reading. I see. If you could get straight into it, I'd insist on paying for your time. You're asking a lot. I have other pressing commitments. Perhaps a donation to the temple for your inconvenience. Uh, what if further study yields more negative results? I can only hope it does not. I hope so too. Okay, what happened here? Facial laceration, he's bleeding everywhere. Mm -hmm. I thought it was okay. I was having a laugh and it split open again. All right. Let's uh, have a look, shall we? Oh, um, I might go with stitches on this one. Leaves less of a scar. Whatever. Um, I might have to know how you did this. Dog. Mm. Don't worry, dog. I messed them up good. Just hold that there. <clears throat> so I lie back on the bed there and, um... I'll grab the gear I need, eh? I'll send in the cute nurse while I'm waiting, eh? Yeah. Hey, Yvonne. Uh, Kip here. Look, um, I think I might have one of the guys that's been doing the assaults. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. Just, um, get the cops and security here pronto, okay? Ladies? What happened? I met with Pujari. And? We chatted. Then he decided to do further study on our marriage prospects. I hope you did not coerce him in any way. I'd never even dream of trying. No, we went back to his study. He asked more questions, did more tests, used a revised lunar calendar, and... Hey, presto. What is that? First, let me tell you what Pujari said. We're not only compatible, we're going to overrun this place with all of our children. We can get married. The planets will crash into each other if we don't. No. Yes. Did I do good? What is in the paper? This, written in Pujari's finest penmanship, is the most propitious date for our wedding. Oh, no. Suits me just fine. It is only two weeks away. How can we possibly organize the family to be here in that time? But it's the most perfect time. And we're so lucky that Pujari has no other bookings on that date. How can we organize a proper wedding? In a fortnight. Susanna, can you feel that? Mm -hmm. And can you wiggle your fingers for me? Good girl. Is he okay? You've both got a lot of recovering today. We're meant to be getting married next week. We've got people coming from all over. Well, they'll understand. They've paid for their flights and accommodation. Dale and I lose all our deposits. Maybe you could still go through with that. Like this. My arm and my face. Well, um, long sleeves for the robot arm and some tricks to get down any residual swelling. You'd make it. You really think so? Mm, some clever makeup and you'd be a beautiful bride. And the filth who did this to you, they wouldn't get to win. I'll help you any way that I can. Let's take back the day. Thank you. 
How can we organize a wedding in two weeks? I mean, will Papa be able to reorganize his business affairs in time? All he has to do is get on the plane. He's going to be pretty mad, though, about the extra cost. And what about Grishma and the Pali? Your sisters can organize themselves. As for the cost, your father can like it or lump it. Why are you so angry, Adam? If it's not me and Scotty, then what it's is nothing. it? nothing. In any case, he's just a man. And we are women with a job to do. Where do we start? First, we contact all the people on our invitation list and tell them the story of how a boy and a girl from two different lands met and fell in love. And how they did not stop fighting against all odds until they were married. We will win the family over, don't you worry. As for the rest... Yes, gentlemen, what can I get you? Uh, a couple of OJs and the lunch menu, thanks. How are those injuries coming up? Oh, fine, I hardly know. So. <laughs> yeah, Craig said you had an unlucky fall. Yeah, that's right. Straight onto someone's fists. Or was it more than one? Come again? The white tails, the guys who beat you up. How many were there? Uh -huh. Livia opened her cop again. She worries too much. Yeah, the way you're treating her, I'm surprised she bothers. Out of order, Dr. Warner. So is using her as a cash mule. She's terrified for herself and for you. Like I said, she worries too much. You know, you got off lightly. You'd know that if you'd seen some of the people we've been patching up lately, courtesy of the gang that you ripped off. Your dance parties are keeping these psychos in the area, fighting over the profits. Your drinks, gentlemen. Here's a tip. Listen to your girlfriend. I said I'd try and find her a good makeup artist, but can anyone hide that much damage? Ask Lip, she's the expert. Who are we talking about? Susanna, the girl that got beaten up with her boyfriend. They still getting married. Stuff letting those little cretins win, that's her attitude. And we all know makeup can do wonders. I mean, look at you. <laughs> okay, we got away with it. You reckon makeup can do it, Lip? Yeah, sure. I'll put you onto someone. And what about her arm? All that ironwork holding it together. Long sleeves? Could work. I said I'd call around some dressmakers. Mm. Well, let me know if you need any help. Oh, that poor, poor girl. How could anyone be so evil? I've got no idea. But if someone doesn't do something about those white tails, it will happen again. Lord knows why they're even hanging around here in the first place. Then the florist. Choose the caterers. I think we should go with the first caterer. They're much cheaper. No, we will go with this one. The person I spoke to sounded educated. Check on the drapes. Do we really need the most expensive drapes? Of course we do. All the gold trim's a little bit showy. Would you prefer to get married standing in front of a painter's drop cloth in jeans and a t-shirt? It's just, seeing as we don't have a budget, if we have two similar options, shouldn't we choose the cheaper one? We will choose the one we want. <laughs> Except it seems that I'm not doing much of the choosing. Of course you are. What about the wedding gifts and the photographer? You chose both of those. I just helped you make up your mind. <laughs> the fact is, I am more experienced in these matters. Yep. A short-notice wedding needs someone to see the big picture and make quick decisions. I just don't want Baba to think that I'm greedy. It is his money. Naveen has no problem spending his money, and neither should you. The more memorable the wedding, Betty, the more you will both remember your vows. In the future, that may count for more than you realize. Now, we need to talk color schemes. I like peach. I want enough security to cover myself, my staff, and my punters. Have you got me? No problem. Are you sure? Because I'm only interested in the company that can shut these guys down for good. I want them dealt with so they don't come back. Can't come back. Have you got me? Completely. Hey. Hello. Then your security with. Ken's checking them up for another dance party. So? It sounds like he's hiring an army. He said that he wants to deal with King and his mob. No, Kieran would mean, you know, deal with, not deal with. No, man, he wants King and shut down, like, for good. Are you sure? I just heard them. The boss is after revenge big time. Where's Kieran? Uh, in the meeting. Hey, Libby, how about you take a seat and I'll bring you a nice drink? I don't want a drink. I want a piece of Kieran's hide. Uh-oh. Wow. Kieran only thought he had to worry about King. He was wrong. I think there might be room to exchange rings in the ceremony, Kiwi star. Don't ask me. Bar makes all the decisions. Are you guys arguing? <sighs> She's become a megalomaniac. 
Well, isn't it good she's helping? She's dictating everything. And her taste is a lot more Bollywood than mine. More Bollywood? Don't worry, you won't be asked to sing. <laughs> when the men start their dance routine, all you have to do is keep in step and mind your part. You're joking. And try to remember to face the camera. Otherwise, they make you do it all over again. The camera? You're so easy. Always cheers me up. Even now, in spite of my mother. Shanti, my darling. <laughs> this is our wedding you're talking about. I don't want any even nows or in spite ofs. I want you to be happy. Wildly happy. <laughs> Shall we elope? I would if you want to. Oh, I don't. Not really. So go to your mother. Tell her how you want things to be. Make demands. I'll back you up every step of the way. You're a very brave man, Mr. Scott. <laughs> Your mother's not that scary. She just needs telling. So that's us then. Done deal. Cheers. Libby. Karen, I need to talk to you. Yeah, well, me first. What's the deal telling Chris Warner our business? It's not just our business. Other people are getting badly hurt. I can't stand what you're involved in. I'm scared and I'm ashamed. I know all that and I've been dealing with it. Karen, you need to stop the dance parties. Agreed. I'm not kidding. This other couple has been viciously... What did you just say? I said I agree. It spun out of control. <laughs> I never meant it to go this far and I'm sorry. You're going to stop? Illegal parties, yes. From now on, everything will be fully licensed. Proper security, police notified and on call, no unsafe venues, and they're going up against gangs. You mean it? Yeah. I was too greedy for the money, too angry with Kingy. I wanted to fight him on when it was stupid of me. Karen, it makes me so heavy. So am I forgiven then? You are forgiven and I love you. Good. Okay, I need to fill the boys in, so go through and grab a coffee and I'll join in a second. Okay. <gasps> Take it you heard all that then? <clears throat> no more illegals? For real or just to keep Libby quiet? No, for real. Well, legal or not, you know, you're still on Kingy's turf and he's going to want his cut. Want doesn't get. Uh-oh. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to hit Kingy where it hurts. I'll be Mr. Dance Party and I'll get rich doing it. And while I'm counting my money, I watch King and his crew get what's coming to them. How? I'll have the law on my side now, won't I? Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention a small army of security with one eye on big bonuses if they meet their performance targets. Which involves kicking the bejesus out of low-life scum. War. King, he started it. I'm going to finish it. With the 5K run just around the corner, the pressure is on for their Operation Transformation leaders. See how they're put through their paces tonight at 8 here on RTE1.